Hello viewers, so welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode today, I will be telling you the success story of Africans, of blacks in Canada. I mean, we cannot undermine the fact that in Canada, blacks, Africans are striving, they are doing very well in their various field of endeavor. And it is high time for us to start highlighting the significance, the role of Africans, of black in Canada. Because if we do not blow our trumpet, nobody's going to blow it for us. That is what I'll be discussing in this episode today. The success story, the striving, the good things Africans, blacks have been doing in the Canada economy. So I'm going to stay tuned. I will be back. Bye. All right, viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. This is Canada Reality, where I dish out content for those that are already in Canada and those that have aspiration to migrate into Canada. Is this your first time on this YouTube channel? Please do me the honor. Hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, you always be among the first to get. For our returning viewers, thank you very much. We are not taking you for granted. All right, so as discussed earlier, it's high time that we blacks, we Africans in Canada, start eulogizing ourselves, start praising ourselves for the contribution that we made to the Canada economy, not from us, but from our ancestors, for, from, our, uh, from the past, uh, our fathers, our great-grandfathers that came to Canada first, the pathway they've created for us, the, uh, the order, the, uh, the obstacle they had to face in order for people like us to enjoy in Canada. So let us talk about the successful stories of Africans, of blacks, in Canada, in their in all various endeavors of life. All right. So when we talk about the history of black in Canada, it dates back to the 1600. I mean, during the slavery period, when some Africans, some blacks from Africa, were brought to uh, Canada as a slave. I mean, from there, the population of Africans keeps um, increasing up into the uh, 19. Um, 60s when we had the significant number of Africans from Mozambique, from Portugal. I mean, if you want to know more about this history, you can actually just read it for yourself. But presently in Canada, the population of black based on the 2021 population census stood at one, over 1 1.5 million blacks presently in Canada. So that's a significant increase from the 2016. And that's an increase of over 346,000 increase of from 2016 to 2021 census that was done on African population. So that means that presently blacks in Canada account for 4.3 percent of Canada population. I mean the number is increasing I mean by the time the next census is done I think probably 2026 or so we will see I mean the significant increase of blacks in Africa because of the immigration and many other factors that brought Africans that brought black into Canada. Now let's now talk about the areas in which blacks Africans have contributed to the development of Canada as a whole. I mean, let's start from the area of art and culture. The creativity of Africans, I mean, of blacks. I mean, I, I mean, once again, I'm going to be using the word black and African. Another very good area that Africans have been striving in Canada will be in the area of business and finance. I mean, I must give kudos to Africans in this area because now in the last three years, especially after the pandemic, there's been a lot of African businesses that have been springing up all across the all across the provinces of Canada. I mean, in Alberta, in Ontario, cut across different spectrum in terms of. Um, African food, uh, uh, fashion, name it. All those areas, Africans, they are creating a niche for themselves. They are striving very well. They are doing very well. In the, in the area of finance too, you see them working uh, in various um, organizations, financial organizations, in banks, in insurance companies, and the rest of them. And they are doing very well, contributing their quota towards the development and advancement of Canada. And also let's talk about the, in the area of um, socialization and ac political activism. You see a lot of blacks um, in the last election that was done, there were a lot of blacks that contested this ele that election that was done in various uh, municipal, provincial and federal level. I mean, that is very encouraging because that goes to show that Africans, we blacks, we are taking our position in the art of things, just like other um, Communities just the way they are doing that scene. If you look at Indians in Canada now, they are taking the high uh, states in the uh, in the uh, development and in the economy of Canada. I mean, the Minister of uh, Defense is um, Indian. I mean, they, they have quite a lot of um, um, Indians in top positions in 
uh, Canada government. So Africans now, we are also waking up now and we are taking our position because we have the population, right? So we are taking our position in the in the hierarchy of our Canada government, which is very encouraging. And this is to encourage other people that are also not seeing the ambition to go into politics, politics too. You can actually join a political party of your dream and from there you can start nurturing your ambition to eventually hold a public office as long as you have a clean record and everything is clear with you. Also, in the area of academia and education, you cannot find the black, you cannot find us wanting, you cannot find the Africans wanting because, I mean, based on statistics, it shows that an average uh, black person, an average African person that goes to university, they strive very well. Over 40% 40, 40 come out with a minimum of a bachelor's degree when they go to the university. That is alarming. So that means that we are getting educated as an African, we are getting educated, and that is now translating in Africans becoming, in blacks becoming professors, teach, lecturing in schools, seeing them in a public schools, in uh, private schools, lecturing, teaching, impacting knowledge to, to people. That is very, I mean, I know some few professors that are of black uh, race that are teaching in schools. That is encouraging and that shows that we Africans, we are not laying back. We are taking our position in the rightful place that we belong because come on, we are educated, right? And we have the knowledge. So why not just go out there and impact? Because we cannot continue to dwell on the low side of uh, black, so racism and the rest of them. The few ways that we can use to correct this is we standing up bold and taking up our right position. And that is the only way these people can respect us. We have to show them that we are knowledgeable and we are here to stay. All right, so now let's look in the area of sports too. I mean, you cannot rule out the blacks. You cannot rule out Africans. In Canada, I mean, I know of a truth that if you see the Canada national team in soccer, in basketball, tennis, you see a lot of black representation in there. In the last World Cup, you see some blacks in that team. I mean, that shows that Africans, black, we are also taking our rightful position in that area of the economy too. So this is also a clarion call to the young, the young people out there that are black origin, that are Africans. You can actually do more. You can also contribute more meaningfully and positively to the development of Africa. I mean, don't let us continue to dwell on the negativity. Let us stand up bold and straight to take our rightful position in the affairs of Canada development. All right, so now let's now talk about what are the things that make Africans, that make black to wake up and to begin to take their position in their rightful place as long as Canada is concerned. First, there will be the education, the level of education, I've said it before, the level of education of blacks, of African is huge. We Africans, we like to study, we like to read. I mean, and we are very intelligent. I've said it in my previous video that, I mean, statistically, Africans go to the university, they study, they have their BSc, they have their master's, they have their PhD. So with the level of education, with the level of literacy, we are now beginning to see the awareness on why we should take our rightful position and why we should not show our kids, the young ones that are going, growing up, on why they should take their rightful position in the development and positively impacting the economy of Canada. And also another thing again that is helping us Africa in Canada will be our resilient, our no the die spirit. I mean, African, we are always like, we are like a go-getter. I mean, the black, we are go-getter. We try as much as possible. We do not give up easily. I mean, we do not take no for an answer. We always strive to achieve optimally in whatever we, uh, we, we engage ourselves in. So that is also one of the things that is helping us positively to develop in Canada. Another thing again that is helping us will be networking. I mean, I mean, Africans in Canada, we try as much as possible to build the community. Some people might want to argue that the community network that we have is not strong enough, but we can only start from somewhere, right? So I've seen a lot of WhatsApp uh, group that are Africans, that are of the black race, Caribbean. I mean, so these are places that other, other uh, races, these are, these are avenues that they use to share information. And that is what we blacks, we Africans, we are waking up to now. And we are also trying to do that networking 
uh, I know some people are always helping themselves in terms of job opportunity. Uh, when they have a job opportunity in their organization, they try as much as possible to tell fellow blacks so that they can also get that opportunity. And also for the new immigrants too, we can also do more by integrating them into the system just to make sure that they also settle down and take their rightful position towards the development of uh, Canada and also the unification of blacks in Canada. All right, so now let us now use the opportunity to mention some blacks that have played a significant role towards paving way for other blacks, other Africans. They have contributed meaningfully to the development and advancement of Canada as a whole. First of all, will be a Viola Desmond, a civil rights who challenged racial seg segregation in Nova Scotia. I mean, during the days when uh, racial segregation was, uh, was at its highest, these are the people that stood up to challenge it. And also, we remember Lincoln Alexandra, the Canada first black member of parliament and lieutenant governor of Ontario. That's another black person that also took his rightful position in the politics of Ontario and Canada. Next person will be Rosemary Brown, the first black woman elected in provincial legislation. She also took her rightful position in, uh, in politics, and this time around, a lady that is of great significance. And uh, we have uh, John Augustine, the first black woman elected into the House of Common. We have Donovan Bailey, an Olymp Olympic sprinter and world record holder. So I talked about the area of sport. This is one of the pe few people that actually paved the way for black in the area of sport by carving a niche for himself, by bringing glory to Canada. Another person will be Mitchell Jean, the first black governor general of Canada. She is also of a black race. We have a Matthew Da Costa, the 17th century interpreter and one of the earliest recorded black individual in Canada. So from this, this goes to show that this had, they have, I mean, Canada have been contributing their quota towards the advancement and development of, uh, um, blacks rather, have been contributing their quota towards the development and advancement of Canada time in memoria. So this is just trying to, this video is actually just trying to like eulogize the effort of we Africans, of we blacks in the development and advancement of Canada. And this is also to also like pat ourselves in the back that we do not continue to dwell on the negativity that uh, the stereotype that people attach to we blacks, the racism that they attach to we blacks. Let us also raise up our head and tell them that we are also contributing to the development of this country. Once again, I said it in the beginning of this video that if we do not eulogize, if we do not praise ourselves, nobody is going to praise us so we do not need to i mean dwell more so much in the negativity let us also talk about the positivity so that i mean if people can also know that we have great significance in the development of canada i mean you might want to say can we do more yes we can actually do more i mean in terms of our uh, networking in terms of uh, giving information in terms of building ourselves we blacks we africans we can actually do more we can also do well by trying try trying to educate the young ones because they are the future leaders right the much we are doing now they are the one that will inherit it and build on that too so and if we build a leg a strong legacy for the young blacks that are coming up they will also stand their feet in towards the development and also contribution to the meaningful development of this country all right viewers i hope you actually understood the video that i brought for you today on the striving the successes of blacks of africans in canada if you do please smash on the likes button if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section if there's anything i've said if there's anybody that you feel have contributed towards the development of canada that i didn't mention please feel free to drop it in the comment section and if you have your own view too i mean feel free to hear it in the comment section don't forget to share this video with whoever you feel will benefit from it because once again don't forget that we need to spread the good the gospel the good things that we blacks do in canada so that people can also hear it so please share this video with whoever you feel will benefit from it and do subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a video you always be among the first to get it. smash on the likes button till i see you in my next video keep being yourself God bless you. I remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. Peace out.